Welcome to Northeastern University's recognition of a very special group. Today we'll be recognizing and celebrating Northeastern University's Torch Scholars who will be graduating in May 2020. In these circumstances, we're doing things a little bit differently, but I promise you it'll still be heartfelt and it'll still be amazing. So thank you for being here today. I'm your host, Taylor Fernandez Nunez, and I am one of those scholars that will be graduating in May with the BS in mathematics. We are first generation college students. We are all scholarship students, and I can't be more proud to be graduating with this cohort. Now let's welcome in Northeastern University's Chancellor Ken Henderson. Welcome, Chancellor Henderson. How's it going? Uh, well, hi there. Um, things things up here in the North Pole uh, are, are are great. Um, uh, rather unusual, but I'm I'm absolutely delighted to be here today. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Um, when you consider Chancellor Henderson, you've been involved with the Torch program for over a year now. When you consider the program's impact, what comes to mind first? Well, um, the impact of the program really is the students. It's all about the individual learners and what they bring to Northeastern, the richness of experience, their passion to make an impact in the world. That's what the Torch program is all about. It's all about the individual, but then when they go back into their communities, they go back out into the professional world, it's the ripple effect. It's how much they impact others around them. That's what I think about when I think about Torch. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, I love that idea of my ability to bring back educational wealth into my community. With that sentiment, let's look at these 14 scholars that are graduating this semester and see how they became Huskies in the first place. What made me choose Northeastern was knowing that as a first generation college student, I wouldn't be alone as a result of the support that Torch provides. I chose Northeastern because of the opportunities. I chose Northeastern because I thought it would be the perfect amount of balance. I chose Northeastern because of their commitment to the city of Boston. I chose Northeastern because my opportunity to meet like-minded people extended beyond the campus. Some of the challenges I experienced prior to being a student at Northeastern University included witnessing domestic violence, observing the divorce of my parents, growing up without my father, being low income, and even losing my peers due to senseless youth violence. To get to Northeastern, I had to jump through a lot of hoops. Uh, my family wasn't really that supportive in terms of helping me throughout school and education. I would say the main thing that I had to overcome was just my own mindset, especially being first generation. I had a lot of doubt in myself. Coming from out of state and a low income family in my senior year, I mainly overcame the fear of uncertainty, specifically holding myself to a standard and maintaining that drive to succeed, despite overwhelming statistics that showed otherwise. When I found out Northeastern was my school, I cried. I knew my life and the lives of those around me were going to change forever. I was glad that a top 50 institution took a chance with a young scholar like myself because not only did it give me a second chance, but it created opportunities and enabled me to begin breaking the chains of generational poverty. It feels like it was just yesterday where I was trying to figure out where Centennial was. Let's bring in Chancellor Henderson back um, and kind of reflect about what surprised you initially about the Torch Scholars Program? Awesome. Thanks, Taylor. Uh, great question. So I knew quite a lot about the Torch Program and what a high regard it's been held in across the campus. But really what was really inspirational for me last year was meeting the Torch Scholars at the graduation event. Um, and what was really amazing was hearing from their stories how emotional and how inspiring they were. But what was surprising was the presence of the Torch alums and how connected they remain with the program and how passionate they were about the success of the next generation of Torch scholars. That really was a revelation to me and just an absolute joy to see. I totally agree. Um, I am excited to be a part of that future network. We're actually going to be talking about talking with an alumnus later on um, in this program. But yeah, thank you, Chancellor Henderson, for all of your support over the past year and for being with us here today. Thank you very much, Taylor. And just a word of congratulations to all our Torch Scholars uh, this year. Congratulations. For Torch Scholars like me, coming to Northeastern meant trying to figure out who we wanted to become. I probably switched my major four or five times before deciding on mathematics. 
Let's hear what these Torch graduates have to say about how they acclimated to Northeastern's environment. A specific challenge that I faced my first year at Northeastern was honestly just navigating college and having an understanding of what this life is like. It was so much easier to acclimate to Northeastern knowing that I had the other scholars within Torch 10 to kind of lean on and, and I knew that we all were going through the exact same thing. Getting uh, accustomed to NU was also a big challenge. I think uh, even growing up in Boston, you're constantly around Northeastern, but you don't realize the magnitude of what Northeastern offers and what it is until you actually get foot on campus. A challenge that I faced my first year was the transition to independence. Once I moved into my dorm, all responsibilities were on me, whether it be financially, academically, mentally, physically, etc. However, I'm grateful for the way that it happened because if I ever needed support, I knew that Torch was there to help. They wouldn't let their own fall and this was something that I appreciated throughout my journey. Honestly, I'd say that I realized the significance of what a Torch Scholar is closer to graduation. I always knew how important it was once I stepped foot on campus. But for me to grasp the definition in its totality, I needed to experience the journey first. I definitely saw just how significant being a part of Torch was um, just by talking to all the people who put in their time, their resources, their money, um, and, and just talking to the, the scholars as well and seeing how Torch was able to propel them to all of these amazing things that we as freshmen had no idea could to even conceptualize. That was definitely one of the main moments that I realized how significant Torch was. It's great to hear how my friends have navigated Northeastern these past couple of years. This wouldn't at all be possible without our Director of Opportunity Scholarship and Outreach Programs, Jennifer Sherwin. Hi, Jen, how are you? Hey, Taylor, I am doing very well, and it's uh, good to see you. Good to see you, too. I just want to take a moment to say thank you for all your support these past couple of years. You're truly the backbone of OSAP, and you're not only a big contributor to our success, but also the retention and recruitment of first-generation college students. Mm -hmm. And so now that you reflect a little bit about um, what TORCH means to you, um, can you give us any thoughts about your take on this reflection? Sure, I mean, I think TORCH, TORCH was an opportunity for me to meet some incredible people, and especially you know, this graduating class. I, re I remember you clearly, you know, through summer immersion and some silly video that I think you had to make for your writing class. I think there was <laughs> dancing in the library that was part of that. Uh, I remember all of you uh, with Torch 10 doing your like squad thing with your 10. I don't know if you remember that too. Um, and then I just remember, so every time you all entered a room, it, it was like, Torch 10 is here. That just, you came in so boisterous and like, here's what we're gonna do. So, so those are some things that, that I think about when I think about your class. And then for Torch 11, and some of the, those students are graduating too this year, um, they, they were not nearly as boisterous as you. Uh, I'd say they were the studious class. Um, and just the, some, some things about them that I recall are just the constant, like they were in the office all the time checking in with us. And, you know, I, I think I, you're, lucky or I'm lucky in that I have a great team. So you had a lot of people to support you, not just me. Um, and so like, I, I just remember sort of them coming in with like stories and excited about things and that they were the students who were featured in the Torch at 10 video. Uh, and with those, those clips at the end, I don't know if you remember that where they're all sort of getting the news that they've been accepted like that, that will be like forever, you know, eternalized in Torch history. So those are some things I reflect on in your class, but at Torch in general, like I said, an opportunity for me to meet some just incredibly resilient, hardworking, uh, smart and fun students. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing to think that that was four to five years ago. Like I remember uh, like taking it on Torch 11 and calling them my babies and trying to support and mentor them. Um, but yeah, I think we have a huge network and um, I'm thankful for the OSAP office and for you, Jen. So thank you so much for being here today and telling us a little bit about, about your thoughts. Yeah, well, graduation is one of my favorite days. So even though we can't do it in person, I think to celebrate all of you and your accomplishments, this, this is a big deal. And so thanks for letting me be part of this. Trying and sometimes failing is such an important part of the experiential learning process. 
This is something we've always been taught while in Northeastern. But today, let's focus on the successes. Check out our Torch scholars sharing what they consider their greatest triumphs while at Northeastern. When I think about all I've been able to do at Northeastern, from being a part of Torch to the honors program, to being able to go abroad twice, or being able to co-op in all these amazing cities, I literally still can't believe it. For me, my biggest achievement at Northeastern was to be seen as, as a campus leader. A defining achievement at Northeastern was when I introduced former Secretary of Education, Ed Mitchell. It was an honor to be included in this experience and share the importance of education, in addition to highlighting how I arrived to Northeastern, despite all of the adversities I was faced with. The defining achievement that I received while at Northeastern is the INSPIRE Award. This is significant to me because I did not intentionally work towards it. I simply wanted to help others, and as a result of my disposition, there were great results. A significant achievement to me is a foundation that's near and dear to my heart. Being able to start things like this, have a foundation where I can go back and supply a clinic or a hospital, that's my ultimate goal to um, build back home, and that's all thanks to the Northeastern University and George Scholarship. That's what this is all really about. It's amazing to hear all of the successes that my fellow Torch scholars have completed over the past couple of years. Um, and to think that we, we, were we were able to make this all possible through hard work and opportunity. Um, with that in mind, I'd like to bring my fellow friend, I've known him since high school, and Torch scholar, Malachi Hernandez. Hi, Malachi, how are you? Hi, I'm great, Taylor. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for being here. I'm so happy we're graduating together and I kind of want to hear what you think about these successes and what you what you just heard um, from our fellow friends. Yeah, I mean, being a part of Torch honestly has been an amazing experience. Um, you know, having invested four years into the university and seeing the rewards, the support more, you know, more importantly from um, the Torch program has been vital to my growth and, and, and supporting, you know, other Torch scholars. And I'm extremely thankful for that. And it honestly makes me so emotional when I think about the different successes that my, that my peers have, um, just because of the fact that we all come from similar environments, right? You know, a lot of us are low income, um, you know, first generation college students. And to see so many of us, you know, being able to, um, you know, now hold diplomas, right? And, you know, bachelors and so many different degrees is, is, is you know, an amazing milestone. Um, and, you know, we are, cha are changing the trajectory for our future generations. And I think that's vital um, and super, super important when it comes to dismantling and breaking those systems and chains of poverty. Yeah. Uh, do you think that, like, you, like, going back to how you were as a freshman or even like a senior in high school, we were in that same class together where you were a junior and I was a senior. <laughs> Did you envision all the stuff that we completed together? Like, like, it's crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Like all the traveling, all of the co-ops. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there anything in your personal experience where you're like, I would have never imagined me doing anything like that without Torch? Because I really loved the experience of, um, you know, being able to partake in those dialogues at Northeastern. Um, you know, I, I, I had the opportunity the ending of my freshman year to go to, to Greece. Um, and then most recently, last summer in 2019, I went to South Africa um, and had two different trips. One was about, you know, um, politics and communication, and this one was looking more at business and, and consulting um, and just learning so much and, and being able to get exposed to new cultures, new environments, um, you know, all through the support of Torch and the Torch donors. So I was, I am a different person from my freshman year, and I'm so thankful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same, same here. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here with us today and kind of sharing a little bit of your experiences. I'm super proud of you. I'm so happy that we're doing this together. And um, yeah, I hope we'll walk the, the real stage soon. Oh, definitely, for sure. <laughs> together. <laughs> um, but yeah, cheers. Thank you, Malachi. It's been extremely rewarding being a Torch Scholar. I've had the opportunity to do several co-ops, study abroad, and conduct research. But what this really is all about is what comes next what lies ahead for all of us. Let's go back to my classmates and hear what they got to say about their future plans. My plans for what lies ahead is graduate school, becoming a nurse practitioner, and traveling. No matter what I pursue, I want the work that I do to have a positive impact on the lives of others. I hope that one day I'm also able to inspire someone to go for it all, regardless of their circumstance. I've been blessed by such amazing mentors in my life, and I'm hoping that I can be that person for someone where they feel empowered to go after all that they want 
and then some. After Northeastern, I plan to move to Seattle and join Microsoft as a financial analyst. Ultimately, the impact I want to have on the world is to really create generational change that can be carried on um, and really help other immigrant families, other communities of color, and really help them prosper. Currently and in the future, my lifelong goal is to continue volunteering my time and energy to share with others worldwide the everlasting joy that God's kingdom will bring and the practicality of Bible principles. Through my experience at the Obama Foundation and seeing the positive impacts that large organizations have across the world, I aim to one day be in position of influence to oversee those corporate dollars and use my voice and my skill set to continue contributing to the well-being of others who need it the most. I'm going to bring in our final guest, Ollie from Austin, Texas, an account manager at Facebook and an alumna to the Torch Scholarship Program, Diane Ortiz. Hi, Diane. How are you doing? Hi, Taylor. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for being here and for sharing um, some of your time and your reflections. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, man, I think back um, to this time in 2016, and I vividly remember um, the excitement, the, the anxiousness, the nervousness, all the things that I felt leading up to graduation. It was such a huge accomplishment, not only for myself, but for my family um, and for what this meant for me in the future. So seeing and hearing everyone's plans moving forward is honestly so, so exciting. I couldn't be more excited for everyone else and their plans and to see them fulfill um, what's next in their career and their chapter. Um, but no, I totally remember um, that feeling that I felt. Um, if I, I'm a girl from Dorchester, Massachusetts, and I grew up within that bubble. Um, and one of the amazing things for me um, through the TORCH program is just the ability to expand my horizons. I did my first international travel through Northeastern. And if you would have asked that freshman student from Dorchester, Massachusetts, if I would have ever relocated to Austin, Texas, away from my family, away from my friends, away from my fiance, to pursue an opportunity at a tech company, I would have said, absolutely not. Um, because I was so um, comfortable and, and that's all I knew. All I knew was Boston. And I think Northeastern really helped open my horizon and open my perspective to another world outside of uh, outside of just Boston. And when I first got my offer to work at Facebook in Austin, Texas, I was jumping for joy. I was really excited, but to be quite honest, I was also really nervous. Here's this Boston girl, that's all I knew, potentially moving away to a whole new city away from my friends and my family. But reflecting back on the almost two years that I've been here, it's been the best decision I could have made for myself. And this group of Torch students and, and Torch in general is, is a gem and I, and I know that everyone's gonna do such great things. You know, Diane, um, I'm actually from Boston too and I think it's amazing to see you as a role model and prosper and succeed in the things that you wanted to achieve. Um, so yeah, I just wanna say that you're one of my role models and now, you know, yeah talking to you and you know seeing where you're at do you have any advice for us torch scholars or have any words about how the torch program have prepared you for your career trajectory yeah thank you for that question taylor as far as what i got out of the program to be honest it's the network that is gonna support us beyond just graduation and then as far as any advice that i have for the graduating class it's honestly to step outside of your comfort zone. Be brave, be courageous, try something new, and honestly, you're gonna be fine. Uh, I love that. Uh, thank you for that advice. Um, Chancellor Henderson actually mentioned like us having a strong network, and I feel it, and thank you for being a part of that network, and thank you for taking your time today to talk to us and give us advice. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Northeastern has taught us to be adaptive, creative, and resourceful. I think that this program is a great example of that. I want to take this time to give my thanks to all of my mentors like Edre Goins, Anthony Arabino, Jordana Todorov, and Donald King for all of your support. 
I also want to thank my huge village of friends and family that are huge contributors to my success. Before I say goodbye, I want to give my thanks to you for joining us today. I also want to give a chance for the other Torch Scholars to give their thanks. I just submitted my last undergrad assignment ever. Thank you so much to every person that has allowed every Torch Scholar to flourish. This has truly been life changing. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Tour Scholarship. Thank you to the friends and the family I've made here at Northeastern. Thank you to Northeastern University as a whole. Thank you to Mr. Jackson or Papa Jag as we started calling him. Thank you for being that grandfather that, you know, some of us, we needed. Thank you to Jana who was here when I started this journey because if it wasn't for this college for myself and my peers, we of course wouldn't be where we are today. I wanna thank God, my loving parents who remain my foundation and everyone a part of the Tour Scholarship Program. Thank you to all the staff, the donors, the mentors, and especially my fellow scholars. I really couldn't have done it without you all. We did it! I don't think Torch graduation would be quite complete without thanking one of the founders, one of the people who helped helped to get Torch off the ground, and that would be Philly Mantella. Uh, she played an integral role in starting Torch along with the Manganeros and some other just amazing donors who saw a bright future for first-generation college students. And so I just want to tip my hat and say thank you to Philly for all that she's done for Torch. I just want to thank uh, Mr. Jackson, my tribe, um, all the wonderful faculty and mentors I've had here throughout Northeastern. Um, who have really supported me. Thank you so much. I'm thankful for the Torch family, the peers that I made along the way of my Northeastern experience, the Obama Foundation family, my girlfriend, my grandparents, and most importantly, my younger brothers. This degree is for you. Thank you to everyone who's put in their time, energy, efforts, and money into the success of this program. Mr. Jackson, I hope you've never doubted that you are the glue of Torch. We'll miss you, we love you.